Hello and welcome back to Catch and Cook California. I'm Kevin and this is gonna be a really weird, totally different video than normal. Well, Diane and I have been busy. We are uh, currently planting a garden. We got some strawberries up here. Got a bunch of goodies. I'll walk you through the, the garden here. Sort of our, uh, our shelter in place. Hi Mochi. Hi pup. Hi. I did actually I know a lot of people want to watch these videos to kind of get away from what they might not want to be thinking about, which is COVID-19 right now. Um, but there's a few things that uh, over the past few days have come up that I think are worth discussing. And uh, yeah, if you want to skip it, go ahead and skip it and then we'll walk you through the garden. But uh, in the meantime, I'm not trying to say this to, to cause fear here. Um, I'm just saying it because this is a reality and you know our channel started as a way of uh, you know showing you outdoor adventures and and how to access those outdoor activities but also how to do it safely and safety is extremely important to us so I'm not trying to cause fear panic don't panic stay calm but there are some measures you can take that we're going to discuss here in a minute that will keep you safe at least keep you safer than if you don't practice these these measures I think COVID-19 is pretty serious and I want to read this to you. Some of this is from a couple days ago, some of this is from today. Um, the federal stay-at-home guidelines will remain into effect uh, until at least the end of April. COVID-19 is in all 50 states. Over 2,500 people are dead, Over and this is in the U.S. Over 143,000 people are reported infected. A 17-year-old died in LA because of COVID-19 a few days ago, an 18 year old in New York, so it's not just affecting old people. Um, the number in Michigan of Corona cases is doubling every three days. Um, in New York this week, uh, this weekend alone, there was a Corona death every nine minutes. Somebody died every nine minutes in New York this weekend because of coronavirus. Um, an infant Infected with corona, died in Illinois yesterday. Um, New York Central Park is being converted into a makeshift hospital uh, to treat the growing number of corona patients. Just so you know how serious this is. Detroit is converting its convention center for the same purposes. In Italy, they're converting ice rinks because the morgues are so full they have no place to hold the dead. Uh, Non-essential travel in New York um, and neighboring states are now being regulated by military police. California received 170 ventilators from the uh, national stockpile and they were broken. So now we have to fix them before we can even use them. So it was nice to get the gift that it just didn't work. Uh, Italians have been converting scuba equipment into makeshift ventilators uh, because they have such a shortage. And yet, Sonoma County, California, the beaches and all parks have been closed in Sonoma County because last weekend 15,000 people showed up to Goat Rock State Beach alone. That's a tiny beach. People are supposed to stay at home and they're supposed to create so social distance. And guess what? There's one bathroom there. So if you can imagine, even if a few of those people were positive, and they use that bathroom. Think of how fast that'll cause that to spread. And that's why Sonoma County made the, the decision to close down a lot of its public spaces. So this is tragedy of the commons, you know, if we're not careful, if we're not actually practicing social distance, this is exactly what's gonna happen throughout all the counties in California and throughout all the states. So yeah, if you need to go out and exercise, um, just don't go to the same spot everybody else is. You know, create your distance. They say six feet apart. I say at least 12. Why not? 20. Just stay away from people. If you see somebody walking down the street, walk across the street. Just give people space as long as you can. You know, just give people space. That's how we're going to keep this thing from spreading so fast. If you think this is a regular flu and it's nothing to worry about, get your head out of the sand. This is real. I'm not saying this to create fear. That's not my intent here at all. Um, I just feel like a lot of people probably aren't watching the news because they don't want to even think about it and I understand that but hopefully somebody watching this video wasn't aware and is now aware so you know be smart keep that social distance stay at home as much as you possibly can if you're bored I hate to say it like this but if you're bored at home 
It's probably because you're not mourning someone who just died from this or worried about someone who's in intensive care right now because of this. So consider yourself lucky if you're bored. Uh, obviously we all know don't touch your nose, don't touch your eyes, don't touch your face, wash your hands frequently. I'm going to leave a link to a really good video that a healthcare provider put together the other day that shows you how to treat your groceries, to sterilize your groceries before you even bring them into the house to make sure that you're not bringing coronavirus um, on surfaces like a box of cereal or a bag of chips or fast food, whatever it is that you're bringing home. It's a great video. The link will be in the description. I highly recommend everybody follows those practices. It may seem completely paranoid, and I hope, I hope to God one day I can look back and laugh at this video and be like, oh, we were so paranoid, it turned out just fine. But in all honesty, I'd rather be the paranoid person who can laugh at myself later than the person who doesn't take it seriously and is crying about it later because of how bad it got. Uh, one last thing, Martin brought up, um, you know, they say that it's most likely to take your life or to even infect you initially if you are um, if, if you have a compromised immune system um, but he brought up a really good point which is you know if you haven't gone and had a full physical in a year or two you may not even know if you know you have an underlying condition and in all honesty a, a compromised immune system um, or you know compromised uh, lungs or something like that could be as simple as having asthma or having a sinus infection or having a cold I'm not saying that I know for sure that that would potentially kill you, but what I'm saying is I'm not a doctor and I feel like they're so busy right now, we're not getting a lot of information on how to combat the situation. So again, be a little extra paranoid, wash your hands a bunch, sterilize everything, take this seriously. If you like our survival videos and stuff, that's exactly what's going on right now. This is your survival skill. This is your survival scenario and it's real. So take it seriously. Uh, you know, you may be completely unscathed by this, but there are going to be a lot more people who lose their lives in the coming days and weeks, and this may last a long time. So the more we can do as healthy individuals, as younger people at this point, um, the better it'll be for everybody, and, and hopefully we can get this thing under control, get a vaccine going, and, uh, and end this. We're only going to do it together. I always conclude these videos the same way, by saying keep the old ways alive. Uh, one of the oldest ways among human beings around the world is respect for our elders. And our elders are most at risk right now by this, this disease. As I've mentioned, it's hitting everybody now, but our elders um, are at serious risk at this point. So out of respect for the elders, if you are a younger person, keep your social distance, keep this, take this seriously. You know, we're going to put together a series of videos to show you cool stuff you can do at home. We'll do some regular old, not catch and cook, but just some delicious recipes that we eat, you know, when we're not catching and cooking. I'll teach you how to barbecue a rack of ribs or something like a pro, you know, but it, we'll, we'll come up with some ideas and some things for you to do at home to, to keep the boredom away if you're lucky enough to be at home. You know, my best friend, he's, he's got a job where he can't stay at home. He's got to go to work. So again, if you're at home and you're bored, chill out and just recognize that you're actually very lucky at this point all right so let's check out the garden much more positive note this is something you can do if you've got a little space and in all honesty if you don't have much space you can still do it um, so for instance right here we got potatoes and a random leaf oh it's ivy i hate ivy get out of my yard ivy super invasive but yeah these are potato boxes, but you can do the same thing in a five gallon bucket. Um, I just found a cool video. Maybe I'll leave a link uh, in the description for that one as well. This dude showing you how to be uh, an extra productive gardener in uh, five gallon buckets for potatoes. Um, but yeah, those are potatoes. Don't need much space for them. Over here, we're just about to plant Thai basil here. We got cilantro over here. We got a whole bunch of hot peppers in here. Thanks, Juan. We've got radishes, we've got dill, we've got a mochi, <laughs> and we've got mint. <laughs> well, they're not essential. I guess we could make tequila eventually, huh? We got some agave over here. Over here, we got a whole bunch of delicious tomatoes coming in. Hey, Mouch, what's that? What, what is that? <laughs> Come on, step into my other office over here. I have to put up some of this netting because we have a squirrel 
that lives in the tree over here. Well, Mochi lives in the... <laughs> so we have a squirrel that lives in this tree. And, uh, and so we have to put this over it because it keeps digging in the garden. <laughs> Puppy, do you just need some attention? Under the netting, we got a whole bunch of basil going. Then over here, we've got some zucchini. This we just planted with seeds. It's all going to be coming up. It will be um, garlic chives. Then we've got strawberries. This is volunteered. That's a lemon balm right there. That's pretty cool. And then this is a crookneck squash. We got two Persian cucumbers over here. Got our little herb garden. Just planted a bunch more chives here. We got some chives just starting here. We got some thyme. We got some parsley. More chives. That's oregano. And then we got some green onions. I didn't know this until I met Diane, but all you gotta do is when you finish your green onion, don't don't throw away the bottom of it where the root is. Just put it in water with the top just barely sticking out of the water. Change the water every couple days or every day and it'll start sprouting. You can put it right in the ground and it'll just grow again. So those are green onions we just bought at the store and now they're, they're growing green onions for us. It's pretty cool. Over here, we got the aluminum monster and then boom, uh, two more tomatoes. There's sage in the back. We're gonna put some rosemary over here. And uh, yeah, I guess just um, hunker down and uh, try and beat this apocalypse, huh? So again, I just, I'm really not trying to spread fear here. I just think it's important to be aware of how serious the situation is and to take it seriously so that we can try and curb it. We, we all need to be doing our part to do whatever we can to slow this because it's no joke. I mean, it's, it's all over the world and it's throughout the United States. And yeah, uh, just if you're still partying or going to see, I'm hearing stories of people like hooking up on Tinder and stuff. Are you kidding me? Just knock it off, okay? I mean, the only way we're gonna stop this is if we all do our part. And it might hurt a little bit, you know, if you have to take a break from Tinder or whatever, but, um, but yeah, that's one thing Diane and I keep laughing about. Like there's probably a bunch of people who like can't stand their spouse or their roommate or whatever and they're stuck with them. I'm sorry guys. I love her. It's super fun being around her, so um, not a big deal. I get to be with her and I get to be with Mochi and we get this cool little outdoor space so we can get some fresh air. I'm considering us extremely lucky. And I know guys, the audio, there's a bunch of cars driving by. Why? I don't know. They should be sheltered in place, huh? Anyway, we've got, um, we're, we're not on lockdown in my particular county, um, so we are still doing a little bit of fishing here and there, completely social distance. I don't like going and fishing next to people anyway, even if there was no disease going around. But yeah, I did get out yesterday caught a delicious bass so the next video that will be it uh, we made this amazing Indian curry I think you guys are really gonna dig it and then um, you know we've had a backlog of footage footage that we've been some of the stuff we shot last summer and I've just never had an opportunity to edit it I guess in the coming weeks there will be a video on um, our Peruvian trip a little Peruvian ceviche and uh, I don't know a bunch more stuff as long as we, you know, stay healthy, I'll, uh, I'll keep uploading. But in any case, I hope this wasn't such a downer. Hopefully it is informative. And check the links in the description. Start treating your groceries that way. Um, take it seriously. Let's, let's stop this spread. All right, guys. Keep the old ways alive. To the people still hooking up on Tinder, I never thought I'd have to say this, but be a hero. Stay home and join Pornhub. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha